To Ezzy, troll this awesome cool kid. Hey, Earth boy. Wait, I just assumed you were a boy. Maybe you're a girl. I don't know much about your weird hornless species. I guess you could be. Yes, I'm a girl. Oh, really? Earthlings are really bizarre. No offense. What is your species called? North American Hollering Phallus Baboon. Hmm. I think you might be pulling my frond, female Earthling. Nah, it's true. We're highly endangered. When our territory is threatened, that's when the indiscriminate fucking begins. Could fuck a circus tent down a gas tank, bunch it up in there good, slam the lid and drive away. Beep beep, albino hairless dick monkey coming through. I'm not sure what that means, but I suspect it was something highly lascivious. The glittering civilization before you was built on angry ape fuck power alone. Stand agog and marvel, bitch. <laughs> okay, this is nonsense. You're a joker, like me. My name's Trezzy. What's yours? Shaggy 2 dope. Okay, Shaggy T, I can smell deceit. Lies have a subtle odor, easy to miss at first, but the more they pile up, the more they stink. That is not your real name. Okay, sorry, it's Ben Stiller. Also, I don't think you're really a girl. Nope, sorry to disappoint you, dude. I am a girl, not a boy. Don't care. <sighs> this first encounter is not going as well as I hoped. Oh man, another failed trolling attempt? I had such high hopes, Trapezi, it started out brilliantly. Terezi! And I am not trolling you, I am just trying to get to know a little about you and your species. I just discovered it, and I'm curious. Excuse me, but it says right in the header of this conversation that you're trolling me. Pester Chum always knows. Oh. Oh yeah, but... Okay. <laughs> this might be hard for an Earth baboon to understand. But troll is a verb that has a lot of nuance. The word can mean a lot of things. For instance, I am a troll. No shit! No, I mean, that's what my species is called. Okay, let me just set aside some time to be stupid enough to believe that. Hey, it looks like next month is Chemical Lobotomy Month. You're in luck. Oh god, what a smartass. Smartassiest alien ever. So what do you think? Time to block you yet or what? No, let's keep talking. Um, what are you doing now? Drawing a comic. Hey, I like to draw too. I'm really quite great at it. Awesome. Can you show me your comic? Nah. Come on, I will draw you something in return. It will be a cultural exchange. I don't know, you seem kind of young to me, and this thing is, like, borderline pornographic. How old are you? Six. God damn, okay, now you're messing with me, aren't you? You aren't six. No, it's true! Whatever, that's bullshit. Okay, fuck it, just don't tell your parents. What are parents? That's just about the saddest thing I ever heard get said. Here. It's the adventures of cool dude and stoner Lou. Whoa, dude. I think I smoke too much pot. That's asshole talk. Blam! You just need more pot. Have one of my hoes. Bonk! I'll be passing out bitches like cheap cigars. Yeah! I'm not sure what is pornographic about that. It's just kind of strange. I guess. It's pretty good though. It's okay, I'm not thrilled with this direction though. I think it's too much like my bro's stuff. Need to figure out my own ironic statement to make. Spread my wings, you know? Yes, I think you can do that. You just have to figure out what the truth is inside you. Pretty deep, troll girl. It's true! There's a lot in your mind, which is concealed from your surface perception. You just need to become aware of it. Close your eyes, and tell me what you see in your mind space. Okay, I see... that fucking puppet. <laughs> Yes, your adult custodian servant puppet. Uh, what? What else do you see? Man, I don't know. Where's this drawing you promised me? Oh yeah, hang on. Here you go, Ben Stiller. Oh my fucking hell, that is horrendous in the most beautiful way. Thank you, Ben. God damn, that mouth, it's like, I don't know, a fucking pork chop. Jesus, I mean, Jesus. So overwhelmed I can't even damn type. Yes, well, Ben, I am drawing with a mouse, you know. Is there even any other way to draw on a computer? Fucking doubt it. I am starting to think your name isn't Ben. I think that was another ruse. Tell me your real name. Okay, let's say it's Dave. Why not? Dave. That smells like truth. I will decide to believe it. Fuck. 
Okay, Dave, I have a lot to do, but I will get back to you. What the hell could you possibly have to do? It doesn't seem like you're trolling into us as much as your numbnut friends. My friends? Are you suggesting others like me have trolled you? Yeah, what, you didn't get the memo? I write the memos. I might not have written this one yet, though. I should probably run this by, uh, my leader. Your leader? That's a retarded thing to say even by the standard of your own bullshit made-up vernacular. Smartass! Who's he really, your boyfriend or something? <sighs> yeah, right. Well, okay. I mean, it's sort of been complicated with him. Okay, asking for an explanation on that is pretty much the exact opposite of what I'm doing. And interested is the opposite of what I'm being. Smart. Ass. Actually, he's kind of smartassy like you now that I think about it. But you seem calm instead of shouty all the time. Also, you type in bright, bold red. You don't hide the color of your blood like a stupid wriggler. Okay, that remark was almost as boring as it was weird. Oh, pipe down, Dave. I'm trying to pay you a compliment. I'm giving out the interspecies olive branch here, and you are giving it a good, firm sass grab. <laughs> One day, you will rue all this sass you have dished, Dave. You may not be a girl, but you will cry like one when I am through with you. I don't cry. You will. There will be tears. They will smell salty, and then your cheeks will be my sandy beach. Oh, God. I will get back to you after you begin playing. That will be next solar sweep for you. Try not to be too impatient for my return. I plan on forgetting about you instantly after this conversation. Yeah, right. You know I have left my mark. I am seared into your retinas like a big red sun. Well, maybe. Even if that's the case, I'll just forget on principle. That sounds like something a cool kid would try to do. Yeah, pretty cool guy here in case you hadn't noticed. I most certainly didn't hadn't noticed. Terezi, be the awesome cool kid. You are suddenly the awesome cool kid, in a different game session, in the future. Dave, Pester Terezi. What the fuck was the point of this again? Why Dave, what is that my nose detects? Could it be tears? This is bullshit, this was a setup all along. I told you you would cry Dave, I told you bro. <sighs> Okay, Jigas, don't say it. If you say I warned you about tears or something one more time, I swear to God. Don't. Don't say you are going to do an acrobatic somersault or a pirouette off of something. Jigas, I get it already. Okay, fine. Our memes can cancel each other out this time. Yes, agreed. Now dry those sorry eyes, Dave. Try not to be such a fucking wimp. It is unflattering behavior for a cool kid of your stature. God damn it, I'm not actually crying, it's the fucking onions. These piece of shit crocodiles are lambasting me with them. That is the lamest excuse I've ever heard. Who ever heard of a silly little onion making someone cry? It is absurd. I guess the stench of the onions is covering up the smell of the truth. How convenient. Also, your nose sucks, you're not even good at smelling at all. <gasps> that is outrageous! But I know, you are just trying to get my Earth Goat for human ironic purposes. The only thing I'm getting is out of this goddamn idiot cauldron here. No, Dave, don't. You are going to make the most delicious soup. It is making me hungry just thinking about it. The only thing I'm gonna make is like a banana and split out of this bubbling pail of misery. Oh, Gog, you're right. You're sitting in a huge pail. <laughs> Why, what's the relevance of that? Tell me it's more alien nonsense, it would be so awesome to hear more of that. I am not going to explain, I would be too embarrassed. Man, why did I ever agree to go along with this horse shit? Because you had to, it was in your future. And besides, you must use diplomacy to win over your consorts. See, look Dave, they all love you now. You are the hero, it's you. Now, they will give you all the secrets of the land! What secrets? They don't have any secrets! Look at them, they're morons! The only secret they got is how many times a day they accidentally flushed their medical alert bracelets down the toilet. Dave, they are stupid and yet very wise. You have much to learn and I will keep helping you learn it. Even if you are a huge crybaby who is easily upset by chopped vegetables. Okay, I'm gonna change out of this wetsuit and into a dry shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> Dave, change into four aces suited. There, now I won't be satisfying your crazy red fetish either. 
Hmm. Now I'm crying too. See what you did. All you get to smell is black, like licorice or something. You hate licorice, right? I love licorice. Shit. Okay, let's say I don't smell like licorice then. I smell like a coal miner's asshole. Too late. It already smells like licorice since you said that, and now I can't unsmell it. <sighs> Whatever. Anyway, probably about time I got on with this game. Sans these pointless side quests you want to drag me through for kicks. Later, Terezi. Nice knowing you. Wait, you can't ditch me. We've got important stuff to do together. Unlikely. Oh, hey. How do you know my name? You told me, remember? Yeah, but I thought you forgot. Why would I forget? You said you were going to make a point of forgetting. Oh, well, I guess I forgot I was supposed to forget. Well then, Mr. Dave Strider, I'm glad you forgot to forget. Uh, alright. Oh, speaking of forgetting not to forget things, I forgot to show you this. Pretty spot on, don't you think? What the hell? <laughs> Absolute perfection. And there goes the big man in his earth sport. Driving the hoop through the paint downtown. What's your obsession with making this goofy bullshit anyway? Is it troll irony? I have developed a passion for combing your internet for cool kids and making them cooler by striderifying them. Don't get me wrong, it's awesome. Thank you, Dave. Honestly, I think I am a better artist than I have presented so far. If only I could draw you something with my chalk. <gasps> oh! I know! I can borrow my friend's drawing tablet. I will do that in a little while. That's cool. Dave, we should trade some drawings, you and me. Sure, that's fine. I'm still gonna go off and do my own thing, though. Later. Wait! Damn it, what? Okay, I get that you are this rad loner and you think you have it all figured out, but how about this? If I am meant to help you, then your future self ought to visit you right now and give you a thumbs up, right? It will be your way of confirming to yourself that I can be trusted. There is no way you would plan to do that in the future if you end up regretting my help. Does that sound fair? Yeah, fine, but I doubt that I... Oh, fuck. There I am hiding behind that column. <laughs> Okay, so what's the plan? I thought you would never ask. There are so many plans. We are going to be so busy, Dave. You have no idea. That's cool, but what's the answer that doesn't have anything to do with meaningless bullshit? Isn't it obvious? Now that we are Team Dave, you and me, it is time... Time for... Time... For... Come on. For... For... God damn it. A motherfucking dance party. <gasps> Whoa. It's like watching a miracle made of nothing but twitching Schroeder legs. You see, Dave, I told you you will not regret hitching your shitty JPEGy four-wheel device to my constellation. This is where the party's at. Look at us go. I can't stop watching. Damn, those moves. Trust me, these moves don't stop taking place. Not at this party. I can see I'm going to have to drop everything. Drop it like it's simultaneously hot and I just tripped over the rug. Dedicate my undivided attention to this shit. Dave, why trip over that rug when you can cut it? Ha! Tap a tap, tap a pap. Shoo shoo. Damn, you're right. Truth be told, everyone will be tripping when I'm done. Once they have set this biz nasty with my swift cuts, dudes will phalanx themselves agape like they're offering to store my shit in their mouths for the night. Rows of glass eyed human flycatchers be holding categorical fucking domination of the dance floor. But they won't catch none because the fly is all mine. You have all the delicious flies! There's not any I don't have. I'm crafting a new dance move to shock the shit out of asses and pants. Fred Astaire's ghost will weep in the arms of his own nimble, rotting corpse. What is your new move, Dave? It's called the Smug Cracker Parlor Wiggle. <gasps> I imagine these gyrations will smell quite fresh, like recently leavened grub loaf. Of course, and just when the scene thought it was starting to recover from its ridiculous erection over that, that's when I bust out another fierce move. It's called the Rage Lock Me and the Douche Smirk, please cut out to the rude jam asking for it. How rude would you say this jam is, Dave? I'd say if I had to take an educated guess, it was outright goddamn unmannerly. Needs to get worked over by some stuffy prude at finishing school. 
Will you teach me these moves? I don't know about that. Please, Dave. You stand there and do the unmannerly moves, and I will observe studiously. I don't know if you can keep up with me, kid. No offense, there's just magic in these shoes, and the coin gnome I ransacked wants them goddamn back. Come on, you take the lead, and I will follow, like this. <laughs> I feel like I should be offering some visual rebuttal here. You aren't giving me any time though, damn it. That is because I have you at the temporal disadvantage. I can pause and do whatever I like and then continue our conversation without missing a step. But don't worry, Dave. It would be a shame to have to whiff your fragrant tears again. Eventually the tables will turn and the advantage will be yours. You will have all the time in the prenatal universe at your disposal. Being a knight of time and all. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting I can time travel. That's fine, I guess. And once you have the upper hand, and there are more Daves scrambling about than you can shake a broken sword at, then you'll get your chance to impress me, like so. See, I can't compete with this. <laughs> but seriously, what's the real plan here that has to do with not fucking around? There is no plan that doesn't involve fucking around. But we will make sure all of our fucking will be applied in a constructive direction. Okay, could you try to be somehow even less subtle when you hit on me? Thanks. What? What did I say? Man, never mind. You'll have to forgive me, Dave. I think sometimes the meaning of words is lost through our cultural differences. No shit. I'm gonna infer that your species reproduces by having sex with a grub in a bucket or something. Am I close? Dave, that is absolutely the filthiest thing I have ever heard anyone say. Okay, sorry, back on point. What are we doing? Well, we need to start making you some money. Lots and lots and lots of it. Okay. When you have saved up enough, we will buy you your first fray motif. Then you can start cutting out the truly flyest of moves. And that is when we will begin the most poorly behaved dance party of them all. Sounds cool. Demons and denizens alike will tremble before your fidgety gyrations. And most importantly, you will prove yourself to be the best human boy of all. Way better than that dorky Igbert. And whoever might be meddling with him at any given moment. Huh. What an odd thing to say. It demands no explanation whatsoever. No, of course not. So how do I start making all this money? Patience! Remember how I said you have plenty of time? Tell me anyway. Okay, well, take what you have saved up from climbing your ladder to start with. How much do you have? Don't know. I never even looked at it. Derp! Nice job, Ace Gamer! Maybe you should have a look at it. Okay. And then I will advise you later after observing the grand scheme of all things and all Daves. I will leave you alone for a little while to wander and explore, but I will be back. And I will come back with a drawing tablet. And then you will see some true masterpieces. Okay, after all this hype, you better be prepared to fucking dazzle me. Are you gonna bring it? Allow me to provide an answer through interpretive dance. Hell fucking yes! Awesome. Peace out, TZ. <laughs> oh, shit. Hmm? What is it? Fuck. Now, John, pest of Vriska. Hey, Vriska! Oh, I still can't find my Nana up here, so now I'm just installing this game. What are you up to? John! What the hell? There are so many things wrong with what you just said. First of all, who told you you could just hassle me without warning like this? That's not how this works. Why not? You guys do it all the time. Yes, because we are trolling you. Those are the rules! We get to bug you anytime we feel like, and you have to sit there and take it like a chump. Blah. I am too busy to be fielding your nonsense at the drop of one of your absurd human hats. I have a ridiculous number of irons in the fire. You will speak to me only when I am ready to contact you. Is that clear? That's dumb. I'm gonna talk to you whenever I want. Secondly, I am very pissed off that you figured out my name. Well, I didn't know it was your name, for sure, until you just told me now. So, ha <laughs> ha! Damn it! Who told you? <laughs> I am not telling. A true wise guy never reveals his tricks. I will find out who told you, and then I will make them pay. Nuh-uh. 
Anyway, I was just wondering if you had a chance to watch that awesome video I just linked you to. What video? You know, the one about the renegade hero who busted loose from the slammer to save the day. John, the way you describe movies makes them sound extremely stupid. Why would I want to watch this crap? Just do it! You won't be sorry. I mean, when you're not so busy and have less irons in the fire or whatever. Okay, I'm starting this game now and saving Jade like a street-tough maverick with nothing to lose. See ya, Fresca! Uh... Oh, damn. Huh? What is it now? Fuck. John is suddenly preoccupied with something. How dare he bother you and then leave you hanging like this? You guess you can spare a moment to watch this terrible video. Why does that nerdy kid have to be so persuasive? Vriska, watch Street Top Maverick with nothing to lose. What kind of life would that be? Oh, and I I need you in my arms, need you to hold You're my world, my heart, my soul If you ever leave Baby, that would take away everything Good in my life Without John, answer car cat. Hey, shithead! You are in huge trouble! A word with you and your friend! Oh no. Which conversation is this for you? Your second or so? What are you talking about? I mean, the second time you've spoken to me. Or first. John, for all intents and purposes, this is our ten millionth conversation! Oh, I thought you were going backwards, though. I was! Got back to the beginning, and then jumped ahead again a bunch of times. Stop being so linear, it's getting old. Now, I need you to join this memo, so we can discuss something important. Memo? Click the awesome banner I made! Fruity Rumpus Asshole Factory! Uh, okay. Dave, answer car cat. Hey shithead! You are in huge trouble! A word with you and your friend? I thought you were asleep. Yes, Dave. I was asleep at one point. It stands to reason I am now and will always be asleep at every point on all timelines. That really makes a lot of fucking sense. Now you, me, and Egbert need to have a chat. Here, I made a cool banner using some of your shitty Earth clip art. Click it. Fruity Rumpus Asshole Factory. Not cool, luring me into your cyber booby trap with shitty clip art. Who told you my weakness? It'll work, won't it? Obviously. John and Dave, respond to memo. What? Okay, I'm here. Oh, hi Dave. Hey. What's going on in here? Some kind of asshole rumpus looks like. Everybody shut the fuck up. I hate you both, etc, etc, etc. Now that the pleasantries are out of the way, there is important business to discuss. This memo is not about which guy can manage to be the heftiest sack of shame globes to one another. It is not about which one of us will decisively escort the others to school, where they will receive a vast helping of, oh snap, ram down their insatiable ignorant shafts. This is an important conversation which I believe needs to take place here and now, so you will both shape your shit up and perhaps begin to approximate people who aren't excruciatingly retarded! Okay, later, windbag. Strider, fuck off. And by fuck off, I mean fuck off right back here and listen, you insufferable prick! Yeah, Dave, don't go!
I think we should listen to what he has to say. Yes, listen to your leader, Dave. As dumb as Egbert is, he is smarter than you and is the rightful superior among your dreary little party. But I am the superior to both of you, and what you really need to be doing is listening to me. So Dave, try to keep all those sick fires checked and those stoic lips pursed for a goddamn second, and take this simple bit of hate-friendly advice. Stop hitting on Terezi immediately, it's fucking embarrassing to watch. Nah. Haha, <laughs> Dave, you're hitting on Terezi? Really? No, but whatever he thinks I'm doing, I'm not going to stop. The guy's jealous. Obviously, he thinks his girlfriend has a thing for me. And you know what? He's probably right. Well, what else is new? Just another lady from outer space macking on me whatever chance she gets. Oh, ha ha! If Smug was a motorcycle, it just jumped over a fucking canyon. The crowd goes wild with dismay, then commits mass suicide. Carcat, is Terezi really your girlfriend? Guess what this conversation is about? Not that particular topic. Also, guess whose business that still isn't fucking yours? That's right. Pretty sure she is. Or he thinks she is or something. Made it pretty obvious when he started ranting at me months ago. Back when I suspected these trolls were full of shit. But now look how far we've come. There's not any doubt left about that at all. Even if there was anything going on, which there definitely... Oops, time to mind your own business again, asshole. Our romance is much more complicated than the joke that passes for your understanding of the concept. You only have one quadrant! That's just absurd! Right, sounds like it's time to get a clue. She's over you, dude. What is so different about your romance? What's a quadrant? How many do you have? John, God damn it! stop embarrassing us. First of all, we've got to be on record here as not giving a shit about that. Second, obviously there's going to be four quadrants. Come on. John, I take back everything I said about you being the smart one. Dave is now the leader, even though he's a smug shit stain with shades and a poker face. If there were five, they would be quinstrants. Get it? Wow, okay. Who cares? Jeez! Yes, exactly! Who cares? As fascinating as a lecture on all that would be, it's not what this is about. Which brings me to a related point of business. John, don't think I didn't notice how many E's you just typed there. That's gotta stop, too. What does? Stop talking to Vriska! I'm fucking serious! What? No way! Vriska's cool! I'll talk to you or all I want! <laughs> Uh, you jackasses have no idea what you're getting yourselves into. They're dangerous, and you're just blundering right into their hyper-competitive mindfuck murder thicket. These psycho girls have already gotten each of you killed at least once to my knowledge. Well, yeah, but Terezi killed me in an alternate timeline, so that isn't too bad, I guess. Plus, I'm pretty sure she's sorry about it. Oh, God! You even know about it? And you're still getting up to these antics! You are both fucking useless. I give up. Okay then, bye. Shut your squat caper and stay put. I'm not done. Sounds like a loudmouth inferiority thing going on here to me. Like you don't want to acknowledge that your troll ladies find a couple of human dudes irresistible. You don't get it. I do acknowledge that as much as it makes me sick to my various bits of alien physiology you've never heard of, these girls are clearly flirting with both of you pretty hard. The fact that they have swept you both into their sick assassination games is sadly what makes this obvious. That's what they do! Wait, are you saying that Vriska is... interested in me? Like, romantically? Egbert just earned a few brain points! He has reached a new rung on his echeladder, easily outfoxed by simple utensils... buckaroo, or something like that. Smooth. Oh man, uh... Yes! Let's all have a great big oh man over that, and then fucking cut the horseshit forever! Sound good? I'm not sure what to think about this. Dave, what do you think I should do? I don't know, do you like her? Well, like I said, I th thought she was pretty cool, kind of bossy, but also pretty friendly. Yeah, okay, but I mean, anything more than that. Like, if Earth wasn't destroyed, and she weren't in some other universe on a planet full of unspeakable frothing dipshits, and she was on Earth visiting your town or something, would you want to ask her to go see one of your dumbass movies? Like the new Makanohe jam, when he smirks and like all, but deliberately draws the audience's desire like a goddamn magnetron? Makanohe! Um... Wow, I don't know. I mean, yeah, sure, it would be fun to do something like that with her, I think. But beyond that, it's a little confusing. I don't think I have actually liked a girl before in that way. So I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to feel or do. Holy fuck! What am I even reading here? It doesn't concern you, dude. Okay, John, are your feelings quite sorted out yet? Are you quite done slogging through the emotional morass of adolescence emerging from the sludge in your junior ectobiology waiters? 
Are we feeling just a little bit wiser? Did we grow today? That would be wonderful! You would think warning you guys that fraternizing with these females is putting your lives in danger would be enough! Really? Danger, you say? Oh goodness, we nearly made a huge mistake! Why, thank you, Mr. Troll! How gracious of you to alert us to our foolishness! I don't know, man. Doesn't sound like you really got our interest in mind here. You just sound kind of bitter. Did one of the human ladies reject you? Of course not. How did it go? Did you stand in a quadrant like you were playing Foursquare, holding a bucket full of flowers or slime or whatever, and Jade was all like, no thanks, bro. Is that how it went down? Yes! You figured it out! You are a savant of xenobiology, Dave, and I salute you with one of my many intergalactic space tendrils! That's fake. I made that up to fuck with you. Or maybe it was a guy who rejected you. Fuck off! <laughs> well, bingo. See how I look right now? That's a poker face. Might want to take some notes. I see nothing but a coward behind dark eyewear clearly designed for women. And a pair of impotent lips purse so tight, it'll sound like air squealing out of a balloon when I punch you in the gut. Oh god, stop talking about my lips. That's the second time. Okay, you're clearly gay, and you've probably got some issues about it, dude. John, just a heads up, in the future, I think you're gonna spurn one of his awkward advances. Uh-oh. John, don't listen to this fucker! He's the worst guy at giving advice I've ever seen! Yeah, I don't know, Dave. I've talked to Carcat a lot, and I really don't think he has a thing for me. Exactly! John, once again, is flying high as smartest human. And John, purely hypothetically, if one of us in the future does make some sort of solicitation you don't quite understand, because of, perhaps, some cultural differences. I mean, no one in particular here. Maybe try to understand that person might not be thinking too clearly in that moment. Uh... It might be the case that this person has gotten too wrapped up in a sort of calligonous ideal. And get carried away, possibly, so much that they were blind to how completely fucked up and weird it would be to pursue anything like that with another species. Especially one that doesn't even understand the concept of calligonous relationship. What. The. Fuck. Are. You. Talking. About. But I'm not that person. I have a firm grasp on how deranged and unnatural any sort of interspecies relationship would be, whether calligonous or concupiscent. So I ask. No. I'm fucking begging you both to quit chatting up these shit high broads and leave well enough alone. That's obviously not gonna happen. Fuck, look, all right. I admit, this isn't purely magnanimous concern for your safety here. We're all sort of cooking up a plan right now. My right now. Which, if successful, may, and I do stress may, end up with all of us meeting face to face. And what I'd like to avoid, if at all possible, is to have this rendezvous instantly deteriorate into a lot of revolting troll human sloppy makeouts. That would just ruin it for me, okay? Really, the only scenario that I am sure would cause me to regret success. Got it? Uh, do you think Frisco is going to try to make out with me? Shut up. I'm not answering your dumb questions about how much snogging you're in for, and I'm not playing interspecies matchmaker here. Seriously, what's wrong with you guys? I shouldn't even need to be saying this. God damn it, it's not even like you don't act actual human females nearby for actual biologically viable mate spread ships. Do I have to draw you a diagram? Rose and Jade, so, uh, you want us to, like, date them? Would it really fucking kill you to consider it? I mean, God, what do you even think you're doing here in this game? You're creating your own universe to go live in. And just how do you think your species is supposed to repopulate itself? Idiots. Dude. No, just stop. Oh, okay. So the alien here is the only one concerned with the propagation of your species. That makes a lot of fucking sense. Why don't you wise the fuck up, cool douche? I think he's alright. I think we are all a little young to be thinking about that. Well, no shit. Now you are, obviously. But what about later? Think about the big picture. How did humanity get as far as it got being so dumb? Um, also, we're kind of all related, sort of through the same ghost slime genes, right? So, uh... Oh, right! The bizarre human anathema of incest. I forgot. Oh my fucking god, please let this conversation not be taking place. Okay, well, let's say that's hypothetically a problem, even though I'm racking my brain to understand why it would be. I guess I will have to draw you a diagram, because you're just that stupid. Here. How hard was that? 
Okay, you're by far the worst artist out of any of us, and that's saying something. Shut up, I drew it fast. Now, as you can clearly see, there are only two sets of compatible quadrants here for legitimate concupiscent pairings. Dave and Rose are related. Jade and John are related. That only leaves two pairs. Once again, the decisions pertaining to human romance remain stunningly simple. And yet, I still have to spell it out for you. You're welcome. Now go hassle your future mate spritz and leave the troll girls alone. Thanks for the shipping grid, bro. I'ma drop everything and go have a baby with Jade right now. No peeking, okay? Wow, I have to marry Rose? Uh, wow. And now that I have saved your entire worthless species with my impeccable romance brokering skills, I will bid you a bitter fucking farewell. Jeez, I am so tired. You should go back to sleep. It was so much cooler when you were asleep and I basically never had to listen to you ever. I can't go to sleep. Why not? Because I'm too tired to explain why is why. You'll figure it out later. Memo over. Get out of here. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh.